Yo, what is good up guys? Welcome back. So in the last video, we set up the functionality to go ahead and start collecting our batteries. Now we want to give our batteries and our character a power level, so to speak, so that we could actually adjust this power level depending on how many batteries we pick up. So let's go ahead and jump into our pickup base class. Actually, no, this won't be in the base class. This will only be in the battery pickup class. So our battery pickup class needs a float. Uh, and this is going to be the amount of power that this battery possesses to give the character. So this is our charge amount. And This is a float that we can go ahead and say we want to set this or adjust this value inside a blueprint. So let's give it a U property. Let's say edit anywhere. Um, blueprint read write. That way, if we do some blueprint code, maybe we have some sort of timer that makes this charge go up and down. We can do that or something inside a blueprint that is some better to code visually we can do that in blueprint i want to put it in a category of power and this new way there is uh, this meta keyword is not even documented in rider this is something that you'll just have to find either in tutorials um inside of the source code of unreal engine or just doing your research and looking at the docs and finding out about these different meta accessors here but we can set the blueprint version of this variable to be protected as well that means that another blueprint can just edit this from another source so we can say blueprint protected i can spell and we can set it equal to, and you got to put this in quotations, this true, equal to true like that. And um, like I said, this is not even documented that well in Rider. I hope they do get these so that you can get a list of which ones they are and what they do. That'll help out immensely. But this just sets the blueprint version of this variable to protect it. Save that. And now we need to uh, create a, a getter a function for this so that we can get this uh, charge amount from any other place. So um, let's go in the public section here and say float because it's going to return a float. Get battery charge amount. And we, we won't be calling this from blueprint, but you could go ahead and add a blueprint um, U or U function to make this blueprint callable or blueprint uh, pure since it's only returning a value. But I'm going to go ahead and implement this. And all this is going to do is return our charge amount. And as simple as that. Uh, so another thing we need to go ahead and do is set up the default value for that charge amount, which could also be changed inside of Blueprint. But we always want to give things a default to work with. So I'm going to go ahead and say charge amount is equal to 100.0F. Okay, and that's it for our battery pickup. So now let's jump into the character and work on the power level for him. So it's very similar to the battery. We'll need a protected, a couple of protected variables for the initial amount of power that the character start with. And we'll need a variable for the updated uh, current amount because further on in the series, we're going to actually deduct from the character's power level over amount, uh, over a certain amount of time, his power level will shrink. And in order to keep that from going all the way down to zero, you have to collect the batteries. So we need a current level as well. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and 
show you guys something I like to use a lot. And this is just, I would you normally code like this to keep my code organized. But if I go pragma or hashtag reach, it's a live template that I created to quickly create regions for myself. But this is how you create regions in, in uh, Unreal. You go hashtag pragma region, and then you'll be able to give that region a name. I'm going to call this my uh, power level. And I'm going to put everything that has to do with the power level inside of here, functions and everything. So I'll call this my power level. And uh, you do pragma in region so that it'll know to end the region. And this just helps you keep your code organized. And I also go ahead and put this in all caps here, like this, power level. And we want a, a float that is our base power level. We also want another float that is our current power level. And this one is going to be a U property here. It's going to be edit anywhere. It's going to be blueprint read write. And we're going to put it in a category of power. And this one's going to be a U property, but we only want to see this one. We don't want to be able to edit this one inside of Blueprint. So we'll just say visible anywhere. And we're going to need a couple of functions to return these values, because as you can see, these are going to be protected. So what I'm going to do is inside of, I am going to go ahead and copy this protected section. Uh, shift tab. And I'm going to do this protect the section inside of my region so that I can make another section here for public. And what I want here is those uh, U functions that return our data here. So I'm going to make this a U function blueprint pure. And this is going to be a, it's going to return a float and it's going to return our base power level. So I'm going to call this get base power level. And of course, I need to go ahead and put this in a category. And we can call this our power category as well. I'm going to go ahead and copy this entire line here because the next one is just going to get our current power level. So. Copy this, paste it here, and say get current power level. And these are just going to return these values here. And we also want to go ahead and set up a U function that is blueprint callable. And this one is going to go ahead and set our current power level. So this will, uh, or actually we can call this update current power level. So this will go ahead and um, add or subtract to our current power level. So I'm gonna go ahead and implement all of these by alt insert and in rider and click definitions and just select all of these and hit okay. And for get base power level, we want to return our base power level. Yes, sir. And for our get current power level, we want to return our current power level. And for update power level, we want to go ahead and say our current power level plus equals. And we forgot one thing for this. So we want to actually pass in a float to directly say we want to update our current power level by this much. So I'm going to call this float update amount. Or I can really just call it amount. And go back to the declaration of this. And uh oh, just go down to the header file and go ahead and call this 
and put in the float here call it a mount and that should get rid of this error now we can say our current power level plus equals the amount and this is the equivalent of saying the current power level equals the current power level plus the amount this is just a quick way to do that so i'll save that and up in the constructor we want to go ahead and set our uh, base power level so we can go ahead and set our base power level equal to something like 2500 whoops and then in here we can also set our current power level equal to the base power level so now if we go ahead and run the editor let that compile see if we run into any errors okay no errors that's good um go ahead and open this because i think we had our character open exactly okay so if we go to our character and we take a look we look for the power section which i'm sure is in alphabetical order so l m n o p okay i don't see our power section so let me open the full blueprint editor and here our power section is we can see our um base power level is equal to 2500 and our current power level is equal to 2500 but you see that it's in this default uh category so i'm gonna go back and go ahead and change that right here give it the same category so they can be in the same area and i won't waste time compiling that because it's just a it's just a visual issue that we got there, but we got our um, base power level set up with our current power level. And if we go into our uh, go con uh, control space and let's go to our blueprints, actors, and look at our battery pickup, uh, we can also open the full blueprint editor and in the power category, we'll see that our charge amount is 100 and we could change this and uh, tweak this uh, or a designer could mess with this value and uh, get the actual perfect amount that fits the gameplay loop. So in the next video, we're going to continue with this logic and actually do something with these power variables. So if you guys are ready to continue, go ahead and jump into the next video and I'll see you guys in there. Peace.